Okay, we continue the former menu and I want to explain point cache. The point cache is uh, does not uh, use alone. You have to assign or use the point cache tag to an object and then use it here. I explained it. For example, I want to, uh, what is the point cache? Any animation, any deformation, any simulation uh, happen in your scene, all the points uh, are integrated with each other and changing the position and <clears throat> you can record uh, the uh, changing position and animation to cache. And when you record it, you can change your time in real time and uh, your scene is very light and you can easily move on it for example i want to create an animation i want to make a class and drop down to tc logo right click and in a simulation tag i will be explain <coughs> class tags and class system uh, next lessons detail so just take it this is a close class i want to drop down on something that collide the close so right click again it's uh, like a uh, glass collider okay everything done and just play and we have animation if your object is very high dense you have your machine will be get slow as you can see we have not real time uh, timeline here but i want to record that animation in the points because we have a lot of point here that integrate and interact with each other. Just the object that has point important and it has to be in editable mode points. The object collider object is not, does not important. It was one. just we want to point cache uh, of that object class object. So we need a point cache. Right click in your rigging, we have something I call point cache. The point cache, you have to first store state. Uh, we have lots of things that I explained it, but it is very simple to cache. As, you can, as I said before, we have a cache uh, common in uh, such a simulation systems. There are exactly like a point cache but they are very heavier in the, uh, take a uh, lot of memory for you anyway i want to store it you can store in the uh, cache or you can store in the point cache They're not different but a little the point cache is a little bit lighter in the memory <clears throat> and that's it you have to first calculate it if you hit the calculate, as you can see, I'm waiting for calculation every frame till your specific specified frame here. And as you can see, we have a lighter animation and a real time uh, play, time, uh, real time playback here. <clears throat> okay. Interesting part is you can using a point cache. If you want to copy this disk, hold Ctrl and copy. You cannot copy that because we have class tag. For doing that, you for copying that, you have to delete the class tag to move it. Okay, delete everything. <clears throat> if you want to transform that animation to other objects exactly like this, you have to, for example, copy that object. For moving that object, I want to delete point cache and any simulation tag here just a simple disk i have a just simple disk here and copy it here four times as you can see if i play just that animation will be play i want to transform that animation to all those copies so here is point cache take action here okay as you can see, there are simple disks, there are no cache, no simulation, nothing. The point cache transfer the class simulation to those <coughs> disks. 
So this is a deformer, okay? This is a deformer. When you want to assign a deformer to several objects, as I said before, you have to uh, bring both, bring all of them under a null. In this way, the point cache assigned to the those objects. <clears throat> the point cache, when you click on it with an object, say, yes, I can transfer the point cache in a disk to your desired object, but which cache? You have to drag that cache in a tag. And an interesting thing happened. As you can see, the all anim animation transfer to any object that you want. It is interesting. An interesting part is here. You have a field option. You can, for example, add a free call field here and you can assign your animation here. We have to go play. And as you can see, the field anime, the field fall off will be just assigned to the this sphere. Okay, you can uh, specify in which part of those objects that animation will be have, will be played. <clears throat> this is an spherical field in this spherical uh, object. As you can see, the one hundred percent of that animation will be uh, play here, but outside of that field, we have no animation play. So you can play it. This, everything is cache and it's every easy because we cache everything. As you can see, we can specify in which area that animation occur. This is a field. Okay. As you can see, only this part that animation will be happen. Okay, you can use fields for point cache or not. This is one only purpose of the point cache. It is interesting and in sometimes it's very useful for you. You can use it in your project. So just pay attention. Uh, do not bring the point cache in this hierarchy. Uh, separate objects and then assign them point cache. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.